What's up, guys? I'm Michael Vorpal, and this show is for those with common sense. So if you think a man can be a girl and a girl can be a man, this show might not be for you. But even if you believe that, then you're welcome to stay because maybe, you know, you can hear a perspective that brings you back to some common sense. Plus, freedom of speech and thought is necessary. For those of you who are new to the show, welcome. Please allow me to get some legal housekeeping out of the way. Yes, I'm an active duty United States Marine, so I want it to be known that this show is in no way an official affiliation to the Department of Defense, United States Marine Corps, or any other agency. The thoughts, opinions, and perspective expressed are mine and mine alone, and do not represent any official remarks, statements, or anything the like of the mentioned agencies or equivalents. Long story short, this show is in no way and is not meant to be connected to official organizational business releases or equivalent i think that it about sums it up and all legalese uh sums up all the legalese so let's get into what this show is actually about and why it's here sorry for the lengthy uh legal but hey it is what it is gotta do what you gotta do gotta cya you know what i'm saying all right but this show is my way of giving back to you my fellow service members and country by to be a voice of common sense and really live in reality and truth uh, I, I'm working towards different styles of the shows to be within this show. So just be flexible and, you know, grow with me. And I look forward to going along this journey with you. Uh, but the first style of the show you're going to find is something that's, that I'm calling After Actions. Uh, that's where I discuss headlines, things I see on social uh, media or the Internet or in person and provide some opinions or insights as to what some common sense uh, viewpoints and, and ways to really make it uh, make sense ish or that it doesn't make sense. Uh, come to light uh, after they happen. The second style of show you're going to see is called Saved Rounds. This is where I'll get on and drop some passionate lessons, perspective, or common sense, again, that you can turn and apply in your own life. And a lot of the times, it's like that afterthought, like, oh, I should have said this, and it's a saved round. It's it's something that, you know, in the military, that that's what we hear, like any saved rounds, any last minute thoughts, something like that. So that's my way of, oh, hey, I should have done this. You guys need that. Uh, that's what I'm going to do for you. Uh, another style of show, show is what is called full send, which is a Q&A style episode where you can send your questions in and I'll answer them the best I can. Uh, if you send a stupid question, I might read it on the show, call it stupid and move on to a good one. So it is what it is. Look, common sense. That's what we're here for. Don't ask stupid questions or play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Uh, so don't be the stupid one. Uh, you can send your questions uh, to an email that I'm still creating as of right now. So that show is still for sure in its creation. But uh, by the next episode, I drop uh, that way to submit your questions will absolutely be there. You can, however, place them immediately uh, in the comment section on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. So if you if you go down, put your questions in the comments, I'd be more than happy uh, to answer those for you and would greatly appreciate that. I'm just working on the email aspect as of right now. All right. Now, I'm not doing this for free, though because I'm going to be putting myself in the crosshairs in some ways. So that means you have to pay to play, everyone. Um, you can pay and continue playing by sharing the show with a like-minded individual, friend, family, or someone you know who is serving or served long ago. However, I don't want you to share the show unless it made you laugh, made you think, or brought you some value in some way. So honestly, the pay part, the not free part for you, all you got to do is go ahead and just share the show. If it made you laugh, brought you some value, brought brought you back to reality, brought you back to common sense in a way, um, and all those things, just share it. That's all I ask. So that's the pay to play. All right. Uh, plus, I'm probably going to get a lot of slack and I'm putting myself out there early on. I already know it. So I've mentally and emotionally prepared myself the best way I can. However, let's see where this goes. So again, I enjoy this journey with you. So that's not a big ass. So don't be dense and let's spread some common sense. All right. But there is one more type of show, and that's today's today's show. And it's called Scroll and Troll. That's where we're going to scroll some social media. I'm going to find a post, a couple posts, and let's troll them together. But my intent for trolling is not to be a malicious a-hole, right? My, my intent is to bring some common sense and some realities to what's going on, although most people won't see the perspective that way. So with today's very first episode, it's called Scroll and Troll. Let's get to trolling. now. I found this um, on TikTok, all right? And, you know, I, lo I, lo I love being a Marine. I love my Marines. I love being a leader. Leadership is key. 
So when I saw this at first, I was like, oh, okay, you know, we're, we're getting it on in the field. We're getting it on some training. Um, and anyone who's ever dealt with weapons, weapon safety, all of those things, look, we all know how safety is paramount. All right. Especially on the range, especially in transport, especially when dealing with weapons. Okay. They are not toys. We all understand this uh, for weapon safety rules um, and everything that goes along with it. All right. So when I saw this, I was really surprised. I, I was honestly like, there's no way. Now, caveat, I've been on my second tour of recruiting the last two years. Uh, so I'm happy to be heading back here to the Fleet Marine Force. As you can tell, still unpacking. I got my gym area set up, though. Got all my wife's decor area, kind of organized, things like that. So excuse the mess in the background. You'll see that transition as well because uh, I'm operating out of my garage. However, when I saw this, I was like, there's no way. There's no way the absolute lack of leadership was like this prevalent in this absent in this scenario. Okay. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot, but let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's, let's check this out. Nothing wrong with a little, you know, hype music when you're going out. as a microphone are you kidding me number one i don't care if it was loaded or not you treat every weapon as if it were loaded okay so that's that's number one this, this marine all right goes grabs his rifle brings it up and is like using it as a microphone OK, to some on the outside, they're like, oh, ha ha ha, that's funny. Like, that's this, that and the other. But what happens if they're in the back of a military vehicle? They're in back in what looks like a seven ton. Right. So what happens if that vehicle starts moving all of a sudden? They didn't let you know. And then, boom, that, that thing actually did have a round in it. And then the butt stock hits and then, boom, there goes your dome. There goes your dome piece. OK, now your leadership gets investigated. And your entire leadership and those around you get investigated and someone has to write a letter and go notify your mother and father or whoever's important to you uh, and, and whoever's going to get notified that you died because you're a moron. Because you're an idiot and because the leadership around you and those Marines to the left and to the right failed to get you to do the right common sense thing. And I don't know, not stick a barrel right in front of your freaking face. But don't worry, let, let, let's continue. So he's still going on like a firework. Yeah, that's a firework. And now he racks it. Points it. Oh my, like, are you, you, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Grabs it, racks it. I don't know if there's a Marine to the other side or not. Heaven forbid that there is, because I swear to God, if there is, this just makes it a hundred times worse, worse than it already is. So not only did he did he risk his own life, he could have potentially risked that of the Marines around him. And you have the entire integrity of that unit and the competency of that unit now in question because of your dumbass mistake. And more importantly, the mistake of those around you that failed to correct the issue. Like, I don't understand. And I'm happy that I've been like, taken away from the fleet for a little bit in order to see this getting posted all over social media and getting a ton of attention. Like, and, and here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. And here it is. Ready? Look at that dude at the end. Look at that leader at the end. Apparently, supposed leader at the end. And look at his face. Did you see it? Let's go to it. Look at it. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's smiling. You see that? He's smiling. This dude is smiling at this freaking atrocious behavior. Smiling. What's not as funny is maybe what I mentioned earlier. When that Marine no longer is with us because he thought he was doing some morale boosting, some like let's embrace the suck type of shit. Like, look, I get it. Okay. I get it. I've spent many a time in the field. I've, I've, I've done 
so some deployment. I've done whatever the situation is. It is austere. It is brutal. It is not fun sometimes. And you got a speaker and you're blaring some Katy Perry. I think that was. And, and, and you want to have some fun. You want to blow off some steam. You want to boost some morale. I get it. But not at the detriment of your own damn life and not at the detriment of those around you. I don't know where you lost it. I don't know where the leadership lost it in this situation or heaven forbid this is happening across this organization because we have individuals fighting for us every single day saying that we are the best. And like I said, I just came off of the second tour of recruiting. I've spent a total of five years in my career so far in the recruiting realm. And I go and I promote and I say and uphold the JJ did tie buckle, the 14 leadership traits, the 11 leadership principles. I don't know. How about leading Marines? And yet here we are doing some asinine, stupid ass shit like that. And you're posting it. That's leadership. That's leadership to you. You have a huge responsibility when it comes to your social media. You have a huge responsibility when it comes to what you do and don't do, especially as a leader, especially as a Marine. I'd hate to see, heaven forbid, that that Marine is a father. And then that's what he's teaching his children. Or in fact, any of those people around him. Heaven forbid. I couldn't imagine what example is being set. How you do one thing is how you do everything. You didn't follow the weapon safety rules. The leadership around you failed you. You failed yourself and you put yourself at risk. You almost took yourself out of the fight. And for what? For what? Little fireworks? Because I'm boosting morale? No, you lack discipline. And everyone around you lack discipline. And that is unsat. That is unsatisfactory. And I'm fired up about it because unless you have been in a predicament in which that actually could hurt someone else's life, another Marine's life, another child's life, another father's life, another mother's life, then you don't understand the consequences that could have come from those actions. And if you have experienced when something goes wrong or you have to notify someone that something happened to their loved one and you still did those actions, that's even worse than not having ever experienced it ever. Because that means you willingly did it knowing the, uh, the consequences could be that notification. And no, I'm not trying to bring some back in my day shit but what I am saying is that the lack of discipline that was ex ex uh, shown and the lack of fortitude, intestinal fortitude, backbone, courage, whatever you want to say, by the Marines around him that allowed him to do this bullshit action needs to stop. And that is the problem. That is the problem. Discipline urgency, attention to detail, accountability, that is all the issue, all wrapped up into that video. It's insane. It is absolutely insane. You should be ashamed of yourselves. No one should be proud of that. That is not funny. And by all means, blow off some steam, but don't put your integrity, your life, everything that we are as Marines in jeopardy. And then you go and post it all over social media. It's ridiculous. I can't wait to check in. I can't wait to set the example. I can't wait to positively influence those who are around me and who I'm going to lead. And I can't wait to see this take off in a sense of getting back to what it means to be a disciplined Marine, what it means to be the example, what it means to not do some asinine shit. That's ridiculous. So I tell you what, if you are with me and believe that that is absolutely ridiculous, I need you to share the show. I need you to take action in your individual small teams. I need you to take action in your units. I need you to take action in your communities. I need you to take action in life because that is how we're going to get back 
to the disciplined badasses that we are. Not just in the Marine Corps. It happens all over the place, whether it's it's in uh, first responders, uh, other branches of the military, local communities, anything like that, any type of position that you can equate this lesson. Discipline, ex- it being the correct example, having the courage in order to stand up for what is right and not do the asinine shit we just saw in this video, that is what is needed. And we can change everything. Now, I can't be the example all by myself. And I need you to help get this movement going. Leadership is needed everywhere, and especially in the military, within first responders, communities, and in home, and in the home. You and I need to look forward together and stop living in the past where this was accepted and that this is now the norm. It is no longer the norm. All right? So I need you to help me with this. I need you to not be dense and share some common sense and get this message out there. We'll talk to you guys soon.